of a scandal. And since then, uh, I've always seen that uh, more tightening uh, has happened. Uh, the markets have become more safer, which has attracted even more customers because the customers who have been away from the markets for long, uh, assuming that this market is volatile, uh, the tightening by the regulators in the interest of the small investors always uh, helps in bringing uh, more and more investors. Uh, and I hope uh, uh, there are more investors that will come and they will remain investors. So hopefully they will not believe in tips and uh, will not go through uh, the WhatsApp messages which keep on giving them all sorts of uh, uh, bad information. Yes, and you have rightly corrected with the amount of releases which has come with the amount of clarification which has come that this is not real, this is something else. Right. And of course, uh, derivatives also, if the investors are not uh, uh, attuned, they have not been trained, they shouldn't participate in derivatives market either because uh, if you don't have time, if you are not an expert, try to go through uh, mutual funds or uh, portfolio managers or uh, other people who are experts at uh, managing funds because sometimes uh, we uh, do not know the nitty gritties of uh, uh, the markets and sometimes uh, we get also uh, taken to wrong path by uh, people who want to uh, take money out of us. So that's why I would uh, urge all the investors to be very, very careful. Right. Uh, one more thing which your uh, investors, stakeholders want to hear is about IPO. You have already submitted NSV as per the requirement which was there from the court. We want to hear in this summer, will IPO will be a reality? Many stakeholders are asking this question. No, it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. Right. Uh, apart from that, if I talk about particularly impact of uh, FNO norms per se, there has been various kind of predictions which has been done. I want to understand from you, particularly, has there been some analysis? Because we have seen uh, that you have already navigated through. There are uh, rationalization of weekly expiries which has been done. How do you see that and what kind of impact you are expecting? In a way, uh, estimates are only estimates. So as and when it plays out, we will see uh, how much uh, impact it has. But uh, if the, the purpose is to ensure that the small investors are uh, uh, taken out of this market who are especially not prepared, I think it's a noble cause and uh, all of us should support that. One last thing before I let you go. Uh, top three things uh, from you. Uh, which you would want to advise investors and investors should watch out for this somewhat. Broadly speaking, is the same thing. Uh, uh, don't believe in tips. Uh, don't uh, trade continuously. Uh, try to be investors. Uh, investors don't trade uh, every day. They invest and stay on uh, for longer period. Uh, and of course, the world has started moving faster. But three to five years could be a, a good uh, time uh, frame to look at uh, rather than trying to do things every day and of course don't uh, trade in derivatives if you are not uh, equipped to handle that. Right. So that's the advice coming in from Mr. Ashish Chauhan. Think of a long term, think of India growth story and think of building your portfolio for three to five years, not just derivatives, which has been advised by regulator as well to refrain uh, the retail participants who were stuck in markets. There are steps which have been taken, but National Stock Exchange is ready for it.